Capricorn, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of October 2nd through 9th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish, and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you would like a personal... Ooh... So somebody thinks they deserve two people. Like, I don't feel like nobody can stop this person. All right, uh, personal read check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up other than that. Let's get this show on the road. Check your sun, moon, and rising signs. What's going on for the Capricorn? Capricorn, Capricorn. What's going on for the Capricorn October 2nd through 9th, 2017? Capricorn, October 2nd through 9th, 2017. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Alright, so seems like secrets are coming out. Capris. Capris coin. Alright, so somebody is starting to see things for what they are. Like, oh, I know exactly. Illusion is dissipating right now. Big time we got this. All right, so illusion is dissipating. And somebody, I don't know if I made that word up, but it sounds good to me. But somebody is becoming wise about what's going on. Like, mm, okay, what is this wisdom about for the Capricorn? Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. What is this wisdom card about? I guess they weren't ready to tell you. What is this wisdom card about for the Capricorn? Mm. So, it seems like somebody has gotten wise about some kind of situation and they got pissed off. They're pissed off about it. Like, the, I can't believe you did this pissed off. Alright, so... Okay, so it seems like, uh, I'm going to say that this is you because it's down, right? I feel like um, you coming out of this person, this somebody wants to leave you for some reason. All right, wow. So this person wants to leave you because they feel like, um, yeah, because they feel like you're emotionally draining and it's pissing you off because you're not doing anything like what am i doing i'm just trying to have a normal conversation with you damn Whew. so it seems like there is definitely love here let us see what this secret is. what is this secret about for the capricorn what's going on with the capricorn 10 2 through 9 2017 what is this secret about Mm. Okay, so it's about, it could be a beautiful person. It could just be about some, what is this beauty card about? Wow. Okay, so it seems like they're not going to tell me. Maybe the Cleo cards are say, but some kind of secret came out or is getting ready to come out and it pissed you off. And you feel like this is the right mood to piss you off. It's probably about something. Maybe somebody just went away for a little while. Somebody went away. What is this time out card about for the Capricorn? Wow. So it seems like somebody may have left a little while. I mean, just for a minute. And I feel like they came back. And then I feel like they've just been draining you emotionally but saying that you're emotionally draining to them and but you love this person and is pissing you off okay mm. okay so here is like i feel like somebody is is trying to hold you back other than you know be there for you so it could be somebody acting like that they're cool with you this could be friends or this could be a relationship you know, but somebody's acting like they're there for you more than they actually are. Okay? Alright, what's going on? Oh, so somebody's coming out of depression about a situation. Okay. 
I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. All right, what's going on for the Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn? What's going on for the Capricorn for the week of October 2nd through 9th, 2017? October 2nd through 9th, 2017. What's going on? What's going on? Mm. Sorry, guys. All right, this card I wanted to flip out. Mm. Jeez, I mean, I wish you guys tell me what's going on. But I feel like somebody going to be end up losing their job in this situation. I feel like it might be some people behind it. So I think this might be work. Some people at work you thought were your friends and found out they weren't. All right, let's read this because we might need them on this one. But I'm feeling like uh, you might have, I don't know, you might have did something at work or some just sneaky stuff was happening to you at work. And you're like, why am I always getting caught? Why am I always getting in trouble? You know, and you might have had got suspended or something. This could be this, you know. But I feel like it's somebody that you care about. I don't know. Let me see. Let's do this. Y'all gonna have to help me out on this one. Because I am. Well, that's what happens. Alright, so first we have the devil card. Devil, devil, devil. Alright, so it says, A time of violence and abuse. Physical, sexual, and mental. Oh, thoughts of self-destruction, regret. People um, who seek power for freedom of others. Bad person, person of evil intent. So this already makes me feel like somebody might have been sexually harassing somebody at work. And they got towed on and they mad. That's what I'm feeling like. Not. Nah. Yep. That's what I'm feeling like. But it seems like you guys really did care about it. But somebody else. I feel like somebody might have told something that they heard. And I feel like y'all relationship may have not been like y'all don't supposed to do stuff like that. And I feel like somebody might have got in trouble for that. Alright. Not on the clock. Alright. So we got the Eight of Cups reversed here. And it says elaborate celebration, proclaimed happiness, gatherings, new possibilities can be created when you look in alternate directions. So it seems like, um, yeah, maybe maybe you need to get some new friends. Or, I mean, possibly this person that you like at work, they could have been the one that told on you. Maybe you need to just stop dealing with them. Okay? So now we got the Ace of Staffs reversed. This makes me, really makes me think somebody might have got fired over this situation. All right, Ace of Staffs reverses loss of wealth position as a result of excessive vanity. So it seems like, I don't know, you might have been dealing with this person and you assumed that you couldn't get in trouble or caught or whatever because y'all liked each other, but it just didn't come out that way. So it's either the friends that told or it was um, the person that you're dealing with told. But whoever this person is, you really cared about this person. All right, so we got the hangman. Hey man, hey man, hey man. Okay, so it says a time of change. Remove yourself from a situation and watch. You will see the answer. You may not know what to choose. Allow yourself to make time for this decision. Determine if the actions are more negative or positive. So it's basically like right now you really don't know if it's the person, their self, or their friends. So it's just like basically look back and see who acting weird. That's who did it. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me. We can set something up. Other than that, have a wonderful week.